Vanessa filming for Carolyn's Musings on YouTube and Etsy and One Way Journals on Facebook. So what we have here is a journal that I've made from the Scripture Garden Journal Kit that you can find on Etsy and it's gorgeous, it's lovely. There are so many different options that we could do for a cover and so I've gone for this bright colour. Later on you will see an alternative which I'm making in conjunction to this one. Uh, so I won't show you too much because we're going to show the video with the process but I was hoping it wasn't going to be chunk too chunky and it's starting to get there but it's all good. So let's get straight on to what's in the kit. I'm so excited to show you the papers in this kit. It is beautiful, butterflies, hummingbirds, flowers, it's got everything. So this is the first page and there are two backing options. And so I've backed it with this one, it's like a larger, I'm not sure if that's a hibiscus, but it's a larger flower on the back. So that's very pale. And I've done that with a couple of pages, so I'll show you those. Gorgeous the same on the back so that will be for the, these four I think it's beautiful bluebird floral scripture and then some more birds hummingbirds butterfly scripture again same paper then these green butterflies same paper sorry there's five I did with that backing and then there's this which is whereas the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. And then there is a, another backing paper, which has got a smaller flower, but neutral again and quite pale so that you can write, put pockets and things on the back. Lovely again. So that's got the smaller flower print on the back. These all do. These go beautifully together. Lots and lots of writing space. There we go, as you can tell that's on the back. So they're the journal pages, and then we have some floral backing pages. This is so pretty, I love it. It's one of my favorite pages. Uh, and another tutorial where we made a folder, storage folder for templates. I made a heart design, and so that's going to feature a flip out heart that's going to feature in this journal. And so I've just printed that on the back. So this I've printed several times. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need when I put the journal together. So I've put some of these backings on these pages. I did that again and did it in a vellum. It's a bright colourful one, which goes with the dragonfly page. Once again, the writing on the back, these greens. Uh, in that tutorial with the template storage, I did a sleeve tag which featured this paper and this one with the birds. So that's going to be in this journal as well. So I'll be able to show you those. And that's in a vellum. And then the birds, that's last. And so then, as I mentioned, there are uh, this, this page, so lots of writing again. And I printed off a couple of these. It's completely up to you. So I think I did maybe four or five of those that will go when I sort out my signatures. Uh, and so with that, that's just a, um, an idea of how I've done it. Of course, you can configure it however you like to do your journals as well. It's just a starting point. Also I printed on 120 GSM. So it's just a little bit thicker than copier paper, but it's definitely not card. All right, so the next ones are the ephemera pages. So we have a window pocket. And then we have another window pocket. Then we have these little small envelopes. And then these extra pieces, they could be used as a belly band or other things. We'll see what we do with those. Then we have uh, some pockets, some larger ones. These could be stacked up on top. Great little fussy cuts, they can be closures as well. Then we have these type of pockets. And then we have some of these uh, little sort of ticket, ticket tags. They're not really a ticket, but there's uh, scripture tags there. Now these are big enough that are going to be able to feature in a belly band. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, it's this one here. So this is a belly band that folds up and has a secret pocket. And then these, um, the pockets that go in there and then I believe that we'll be able to put these these in those 
that's what Caroline mentioned to me so we'll see how we go with that and then we have some beautiful base uh, lace and simple neutral tags that we can build upon or leave as is and then there's some uh, fabulous tabs so these are quite large so these will sit on the top of our tags more tags doilies I love doilies, <laughs> so they're featuring in this kit. Uh, this is something a little bit new. I haven't seen this with a spiral, so we could make that in the cover of a notebook. And then we have like a file folder here. We've got a journal card that can fit inside of that. Some more little smaller journaling cards there. I did print that on the back. Sorry, I should have mentioned that on these tags. You can see that there is backing. Sorry about that. I didn't mention that. I did do it on that one, but I didn't do it on the pockets. And then we have this cute uh, ephemera piece, which uh, we'll show you how to do. This is going to fold in with butterfly wings that will sit here in the center and then fold back out. And then there's these cute little pockets and little tags that go inside that. This, that's printed on the back. Then I haven't seen this before, but I love this jigsaw pieces. So we'll probably do an envelope, have those stacked in there and then Let's see if we can, if they do fit together. I haven't spoken to Caroline if they do. Uh, or they might just be able to feature on a page. Something a little bit different. And then beautiful doilies. I love doilies and these colours go really well. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to cut those out and then come back to you with some ideas of how we're going to put this journal together. The idea is... Um, to make it as a basic journal and to we, we you could do it for yourself but give it to somebody else with the uh, accompanying scripture ephemera folder uh, which is full of lots of other ephemera as well that you could gift to somebody and they could decorate their own journal so let's see after I've cut this all out uh, where we go from there Okay, so I've cut out my pages and just taken the white border off them and then on this set I have gone and lightly inked around all of the pages. The great thing is if it's not um, slightly, it's not lined up correctly, you can ink the pages um, and that just takes off in case there's just a little bit of white that's showing. Also, it always takes off the white off the sides anyway. So. I've decided that I'm going to make two journals because there are so many glorious pages in here. We could have gone in a couple of different directions. So this set I'm going to set aside because that's going to go into this journal, which um, I'm going to, I've covered it. And then it's going to have this on the top. And then I've made a journal topper. So this one is going to open up. It's got a tag and it's got a pull out section here with some vellum there so that's going to sit on the top so this is going to be sort of more of a romantic vibe with that one so I'm going to do that one later and I'll probably do another video on that one with a flip through but what I have done is made a cover for this one so this is going to be more of a bright um, journal and it's going to be a simple version. So I wanted to make something that wasn't heavily embellished, but it is something that you could put together and give with a gift to a friend, uh, because I thought it might be nice uh, if you wanted to grab the scripture folder to go with it. So this could be for somebody who's new to journaling, you wanted to quickly make up a journal for them, and then they could fill it with their own ephemera. Um, we're going to put some basic stuff from the kit, but then they can further embellish it. This is a freebie over on Carolyn's Facebook page, but if you're not on Facebook, she apparently will be putting it up on Etsy. So that's great. So this one I just covered with fabric. Uh, popped that in there, re did, uh, did my holes first. And I think the spine on this was one and a half inches memory and so we'll see how it goes I a lot of the time I overfill and then get a bit of crocodile mouth so I tried to make a bigger spine I'm not sure if we're going to need that much and then so I've just just slightly tacked this on because after I've sewn in the signatures I want to put this on this is fun with this bling so I want to put that on my spine and I want to just make sure that this lifts off before I put it down permanently to fit in with that spine covering so uh, what else I did I just uh, put the book corners on and laid some lace there and then 
my closure is just going to be this organza sort of silvery thread that I've just sort of stuck down before I stuck these pieces down. Uh, so I had a bit of a play off camera over the last couple of days. So this one is printed three times. So I'm not sure if you're gonna like this idea because it's a lot of ink, but I've laid down a bottom piece, then I laid down the second one cut around the edge. Um, and I did this idea in the Love of God journal. And so with the butterfly, it sort of pulls out and I've used an eyelet where the head is and a bit of ribbon, so it looks like the antennae. And yep, so that's a journal card that just sits in the back there. And then this one on this side is, um, I've done the same thing. So I've printed it once for the background, once for the top, I did a square cut out and then put some uh, tra uh, translucent, what do you call this? I'll put it on the screen, it's gone from me at the moment. Um, so I've popped some of that so you can see through and then this was cut with that die cut that I had, put it on a dictionary page that had prayer on it. Um, this is some torn printed vellum that has um, Matthew 26, 41 on it about prayer and one of the doilies has gone there. So this is a journal card to pop in there. Okay, so that's the front inside that actually does move over there. So I've tried to line it up with a butterfly. Okay, so these are the pages. There's no wrong or right way of organizing your papers. Um, so whatever works for you. I did have um, some vellum that uh, is ribbed. So it's got a nice texture feel to it. So on the first, I've just sort of, this is a quick layout. I just try to break up the pages with some vellum, some print, some lined paper, then the digital with scripture. Just try to break it up a bit so that they're not all together. This is a bit of silver heart vellum, scrolly vellum that I had. So it just, see how it just softens that image. This one is actually from the scripture ephemera folder that is free on the Facebook group. That comes with the cover page. Um, so that's where that's from. And then you don't have to, but sometimes it's nice in the middle of your signature to have a page that is opened up and that is pleasant to look at. So that's how that goes. So there's lots of journaling space and lots of um, blank space to put pockets and things if you don't want to cover up your images. The images are gorgeous. <laughs> so that's that first one. And then this one, in blue so pretty uh, I had lots and lots of this blue paper so it's a bit shorter that's okay it nothing has to be perfect <laughs> doesn't have to be exactly measured up um, so that's why I popped that in there so you could just put the digitals which would be beautiful some purple vellum um, I'm just trying to use up some stock that I had. So that's what I've done there. That is my center. Pretty papers. And so this is on the other end. Okay. Right, so now what I'm going to do is just line those up and we're going to sew them into my signature. Uh, what you also might do if you don't have these, these are like quilting clips. This is great to hold your papers together when you're sewing in your signature. So I might put the back one in first. It's going to do green and then the blue. Um, and you might want to make it interesting with uh, envelopes. You can stick that in there to give different uh, shapes and sizes. This one I'm going to keep very simple, um, but with the other one I might embellish more and um, do different sizes and things. Okay.
So I thought I'd go uh, over some ephemera with you that's in the kit. And so the first one is this belly band. It's very exciting. It's a new challenge that Carolyn had popped on the Facebook page. Uh, and it was a belly band with a hidden writing spot. So I am thinking about tying it together with some ribbon because I haven't decided which page it will go on and which way it will open it um, with the clothes. However, sorry about the traffic noise in the back. It's a bit busy today. But when it's going to go on a journal page like this, Carolyn had it glued on the top and the bottom and it opens this way. You might want to put a, a clip this way um, so a paper clip with something broad on top of it so you might want to she, if you look on the Facebook group she had this on top of a paper clip and that sort of kept, kept that flap um, if you wanted it on the left hand side then you would have that on the inside that flap that way and then close it that way but at the moment I'm not sure so I might tie it with a ribbon and so let me move this out of the way. So what you have is, um, I've decorated the front, fold out, it's printed on the back. Mine's had a bit of an indentation from these, but they're very sparkly. And then there's three pockets you can pop in here with some tags, put some ephemera scripture here and some butterflies. So make sure that you do print on the back of your belly band. And then I printed another sheet of this uh, gorgeous backing paper and cut a strip and inked it to pop that there. So let me put this one aside. This is going to go into this journal and I'm making this one for my other journal. So we're just going to score down those lines. And then again here. Oops. Okay. And so that will fold in and fold in. Right, so one more go over the other. So if you like, you can ink around the outside and then on the inside pages as well. I am going to put this gorgeous ribbon. Um, so this one's going to be a bit of a different feel, but this one is going to go into my other journal. So that's going to go on the front and I'll pop that over with that. And then I just wanted to show you with the pockets. <clears throat> So they actually do line up. So if you look at the flower, it does match up there. And then this one, and that one does go over the top. There we go, like that. So I have shown this in another video before when you're doing layered pockets. If you match up the flowers and then where you want it approximately on the bottom, so that looks lined up there. This one needs to be lined up a bit better. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Sorry, like that. Then what you want to do is pick up these and draw a line. And that's where you're going to put that glue. Uh, so you're going to glue down these signs. Now on the other one, I did glue down the bottom and it's quite a shallow pocket. So the tag sticks out a fair bit. So I might try on this one not to, um, sorry, I, I might not glue that one and see how it sits. It shouldn't fall through. And then you line up your next one, see, with it, and then draw a line and then glue down the sides and the bottom. So let's do this first one. As I said, you can glue the bottom on this one, but I might just leave it. And then make sure this is straight. I have actually inked the outside of these pockets, so they are ready to go down, <clears throat> even though I haven't inked the page yet. All 
right and then that was the next one so that should be lined up to that line there you do want to glue make sure I got it up the right way yes and we want to glue down the bottom And then the last one we wanted to do the three sides as well. Okay. Might not have lined these ones up as well. Let's see. Okay. And then you will have your three pockets. So I'm going to go back and um, ink around the edges of those, put my ribbon on the front and then the other one I had this little bit that you could cut out and put there but you know you could choose anything you like and then some butterflies, that one's pale if you want a more subdued look or you could do some bright butterflies, anything that's in your stash as well, that would be great. So that's the belly band, that, that's that one to explain it to you. And then let me just put my glue in here for a sec. Okay, so this one is some um, a journal card, and we had this, these, which are lovely. We can stick these in pockets. This one, um, you could put the journal card inside, and it could just be a folio. You could make this into a notebook and put extra paper in there. I've already got two others that I'm going to do, so I thought I'd do something different, and I thought it might be cute to store these puzzle pieces in. So I'm actually going to glue just around the two sides, and I have already inked them. Yeah, you can use these in a few different ways. Let's go with that. And then these little puzzle pieces can fit inside there and then this can go inside a pocket. Okay. And then we've got one that actually sort of sticks out like a tab to show you there is actually something in there. So that works out really well. So that's that little idea done. Uh, then the other one I did was this little butterfly pullout. How cute is this? So this is what it looks like. Uh, now Carolyn has given us this in the kit and the backing paper, I used this on the backing, but then it had the butterfly with this color and the backing. So on the original one on the freebie on Carolyn's Facebook page, there is this uh, daisy, yellow daisy um, backing paper. So that's why it comes out like this and it's got this color butterfly on the front and then it folds out and it's got that design with the pockets um, and so you could put these pockets on the outside and these little ones on the inside, it's up to you. And then I just tied it together with some ribbon. So I just thought I'd show you, so that's one. Okay, now with this one, as I said, I used that as the backing. So it's sort of the butterfly blended in with the backing. So I traced around the butterfly when it was extended out the wings traced it out of this daisy paper and then stuck that one on top so that's why it looks like that and then I made a little pocket for this to go in which can glue on the page or it can be a floating pocket with a paper clip and so basically it was that sheet of paper folded over and then I used a die cut uh, to cut that out. It's probably a bit wide, um, so it's got quite narrow, so it will fit on the page, so it's narrow here. But you could just use uh, your cutting knife 
Stanley knife, I call it in Australia. I'm not sure what everybody else calls it, but a cutting knife with your ruler and cut out a square for that to sit in. And then that's the transparency film or acetate that that sits in. Okay. So when you get this, you cut out the pieces and it will look like, um, actually that one's stuck. I stuck that down. So let me just show you. When it comes out, you cut it, it will be like that. And then you need to score here, here, and then here and here, and then fold on the score line in. And that's how you get your butterfly to pull out. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, and I need to finish that for my second journal. Right, uh, the next one are these pockets. We've got a variety of pockets that Carolyn has given us in the kit. Lots of gorgeous ones. But I just wanted to explain when you see them like this, you certainly can use those as two separate pockets on different pages and then embellish them with decorations. Or it is actually designed as a double pocket for that to lay on top in case you're not familiar with her kits and then you can put things here and then you can put them there as well so i just wanted to explain that that's the same with that one okay and then there's some extra just smaller pockets so that's that one now these ones these have got quite a large gusset so when you cut them out they're going to look like this so you score here and here and then you can ink around the outside and then fold glue here and glue here and that's how you'll get a bit of a gusset which means instead of gluing down the side and losing some space you can put a full card in there now this card is just made out of the backing paper i just put it on a firmer piece of card and then what i did was i traced this section out on another piece of card and then because i was trying to get it to match so if you can see that so i was trying to get it to match through the window and then I just did a fussy cut with a butterfly so that would feature there. So that's a bit of a journaling card idea um, to put in here. Now with cutting out the window with this one, it's the same, I did the same idea and just, whoops, need to glue his little foot down. Um, so just did a little bird, so that's pretty cute. So with this one, I just carefully went around the edges. Now it hasn't got a bit of a curve there, to cut out the window and then I just this was a bit of um, some junk mail the clear window and the junk mail and I just took some of that off and glued on the outside so that one will go in there now I wanted to show you another way of doing it just in case you don't feel so confident with that what you can do Is you can get your knife and just cut from corner to corner like that if you're a bit wobbly with your hands and then fold fold it in that way and that gives you a nice clean edge don't forget to ink around here I forgot to do it on the other one um, but do that before you put down your clear film so when you turn over you have this and you can glue down these sides and they can be flat I might just reduce it a little bit so I just thought uh, that might be an alternative if you're not if you're a bit wary of um, cutting straight okay so I'm just using art glitter glue to hold those edges down you just want to make sure you get to the edges so nothing catches on there and then we have our little piece of junk mail so I do have acetate sheets but I want to show you that you can pull it off junk mail 
it's always good to use up um, things in our stash or to recycle. So I'm going to go around the outside. This one might be a bit lower, so I'll put some extra glue there. Just make sure none of this ripped paper from the envelope is in your window. Make sure that's really well stuck down because you don't want anything to catch. And I'll just lift up this corner and put a bit more Oops. in there. That's all pretty good. Okay, so there's that window on that one. And then the card, just make sure you cut it a little bit narrower so it will slip into there once we glue down the sides and then stick it onto, stick it onto a page. So I'm uh, not sure if I said this before, but it can be a slope uh, because of the print on the back, it can be a floating pocket, which means it's not stuck down in the journal on the back. You could use a paper clip on the side to put that into the journal or tuck it into a pocket. Okay, so that's that. And then I think the last piece I was gonna go over were these cute little um, notebook covers. So I just cut a piece of purple card that I had in my scrap box and some paper as well, and just sort of tore it up and inked around the edges and just stuck the front on and rounded the corners. So this is a small one, so I literally just did two holes to tie it together. This one I thought I would do with you, and this will be a three-hole punch. So I put this on some craft card, inked around the edges, same, rounded the corners, rounded the corners on the pages. This was actually some pale green marble paper that I had that I thought went well with this, and it was three A4 sheets, or you can use letter size, and I just folded them uh, so that they would be a long strip, folded them in half, and then I cut them four. Yeah, so the long strip would that be that way, and I cut them four, looks like four and a half inches. But anyway, if you have a look, you just want it slightly smaller than the spine. Um, so that the paper doesn't hang out with these little indents here and a little bit shorter on the side there as well. So I used three, three sheets of paper and folded them a half, cut them up. So we're just going to stick that in now and quickly do a three whole pamphlet stitch. This is little and only one signature, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to pre-cut any holes or anything. So it goes through the center. If you have a sewing machine, you could just run that right down the center in your sewing machine. So we've got that there and then come up to the top. That looks like I need to glue that down a bit stronger, that cover piece. Oops, I was a bit off centre, that's okay. And up. Make sure that string's still there. Then down the bottom. There we go. Don't catch on that clip. And then back through the centre hole. sure that's tight on that side make sure the strings are on either side of that and then just tie a knot one one way and one the other way there we go so that's a cute little doesn't matter that way and that's a cute little notebook to put in one of our pockets as well. 
Okay, so I'm going to go and decorate the pages, put everything um, together, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I've added all my pockets that filled them, added all the ephemera, etc., and she's ended up quite chunky. So that's because I couldn't stop filling it with all of the fabulous freebies as well that come with the scripture folder. Uh, now this is free once again on One Way Journals on the Facebook group, uh, and then I, there's still a few in there, but I use lots. So she has become quite chunky, quite wide here. Uh, the spine is 1.25, so one and a quarter inches. The other one I'm making is one and a half. Uh, so if you wanted to add all of the freebies, etc., in there, you might want to go for a bigger spine. Uh, but the plan was initially to give them this to somebody who's new to journaling, give it, them this, and then they can fill it up with their own ephemera. But I wanted to show you <laughs> what it looked like with everything inside. So anyway, this is... Um, the journal finished and I did make uh, this six inches wide because I was going to allow for ribbon on the side but because it was just getting so full I haven't done that but I will be doing it on the other journal so as you um, saw previously that's what I did to put that journaling card in there that could also I didn't design it as a writing board which uh, the reverse is flat and it can be stuck under the pages to make it easier to write on them and then I added some scripture there. I was uh, given lots of these silver butterflies, so added those throughout. I normally work with sort of vintage gold, um, but it was nice to work with some silver. So there's a bit of bling on there. And then this is one of um, the gorgeous tags that fits inside, added some ribbon. Um, I had a couple of these plates that uh, these little circles fit in perfectly. So I glued down one side to the page and then that just stops it from, uh, if it goes in and out and it just stops it from tipping. Uh, so this is one of the freebies, uh, some of the text embellishments that have just been glued on two sides and it's a removable book page, book page marker. And then this is, um, one of the freebies that's gone up with a long pocket and so I had actually in the freebie folder there are some that are there I just enlarged them on Photoshop you might be able to enlarge them on the, on your printer um, to put them throughout the journal but Carolyn has given us two of these that are the full size this journal was getting quite thick so I just put some very thin uh, notebook paper that has scripture on it and that sort of features throughout just added some washi tape. Uh, this is, I have done a tutorial on it. It's called the Windows of Scripture. It's beautiful. It's an add-on to this kit uh, over on Etsy. Initially, I had some gold ribbon, which didn't really fit into this journal. So I took that off. Uh, and this is sort of flopping. When I turn the page, it does sort of flop open. So I've just got to find my little mini Velcro dots that I'll add there. But when you open it up, Gorgeous little pockets with more ephemera and tags, scripture. Just love it. That's another freebie. This is the vellum that I talked about that I just popped through the journal. Just a bit of bling. Very simple belly band with a butterfly and some note paper. This page was uh, part of the January freebies. So if you go over on Facebook, these little mini envelopes are part of the kit. And if you added some ribbon and some washi, uh, now part of uh, the very latest uh, freebie is some dangles, which is layered words and tags. So I've just sort of inked them and popped them in there. They're like little sections that you layer on top of each other to make a dangle. And these gorgeous words that Carolyn has done up for us. So they're in there. Now, I could glue the sides and that would make it your traditional envelope. Or if you don't want to fill them with anything, just leave them open and it adds extra journaling space. And then if you put a little circle, uh, one of these little flowers there, that helps to close the envelopes. That's the notebook we made. And then this one is a scripture little booklet that is in the January freebie kit. 
bit of bling, more bling. Uh, this is one of the tags in the kit and I just added the doily that's in there, some ribbon and uh, fussy cut the hummingbird on it. And if I can find my pen, my uh, charm thing here was quite dull silver. So I have a paint pen in silver and I have one in gold as well. And so I just touched that up on the top. So you can always do things like that. That was in the freebie kit, uh, the, the freebies for January. This is, however, these are in this kit. And so I just added a tab for the top. So sweet. This is one of the latest freebie tags, bit of bling. These are tags in the kit. Don't be scared to cut off uh, if you want a different length for your tag. I just wanted it to sit like that, so I cut off the end. Uh, and these are in the, the kit. Just added some doily, some interest in the background and inked that with a tab on the top. And this one is one of these text embellishments that is a freebie in January. Lots of writing space. This was the pocket that I showed you. Uh, I did probably cut this a little bit wide and so it was falling out in the journal. So how can we fix it? Well, this was the little butterfly card that's in the kit that has little ephemera in it. I just made a folio out of the rest of the paper and add it as uh, some more writing space with some fussy cuts and it just gives you a little bit more stability and thickness within that pocket to stop this from falling out. So that will go back in there. Okay. This uh, tag to add some extra interest, I did go over this on a folio, a storage folder for all of the templates that Carolyn has over on Etsy. There's three sets of templates. One of them was this vintage tag, so I just backed it with some of this paper. And one of the other templates was called a sleeve template. And it's basically a tag that's double-ended that you glue on the back to create a pocket for a tag and then a journal card on the inside. So it's just a way of adding a bit more interest to your tags within your journal. And the templates are great because you can print them on any paper that you have that you want that you want to include into your journal. So go check over that video if you want to see um, some alternatives on how to make that as well. Then I did show you how we made this envelope. I just glued it all together and added a tab on the top of the card. And then it's a very simple paper clip just with a charm that says family on the side. More of the silver butterflies. Now we've come to the end of the first um, signature and now's the second signature. And here we have again the other pocket with the sweet little bluebird that I fussy cut and stuck down, added a tab, another simple paper clip with a little dove on it. Oh, now this is what I wanted to mention. I had quite a few of these blue papers. The white was a bit bright. So even though I used this to ink around the edges, of my ephemera and my pages etc there I do have a brush uh, like this with very soft bristles and it just makes it easier to to just ink up a page so my advice is if you've not done this before is when you ink up grab a spare piece of paper and ink on there first because you'll always get a darker spot and then work it out onto the page so let's do that first Okay, this was a pocket, turned it upside down, so we've got a top tuck, and this was a little folio that I glued together to create a bit of a pocket, and that's for all the little puzzle pieces. A bit of washi tape along there. Another side pocket. Okay, this was me being very brave to put three <laughs> tags in here. I cut out some of the backing paper, inked the edges, and did a very, very thin line of glue around the edges, but I also ran a very 
thin line of glue along here and hoping that it was thin enough that my tags would fit inside. And so I did that so that the tags wouldn't all sort of fall down. Fortunately, I did draw a line to make sure I kept it very, very minimal and it did successfully work. So these tags are over on the Facebook freebie group and there were actually six tags and I created a, a lever on, on three of them to create a little flip open and then I've just torn up scripture and some flowers and things and butterflies to put on top of each one. So I love it when butterflies do that. And then this one. Okay, their little wings have to be flattened and go back into their pocket. So they do glide back in, fortunately. So if you're a bit worried about it, you might be able to do two pockets on the side of your page. Okay, simple belly band again. Here we go. Uh, I had lots of these uh, washi tape flowers, so just popped those on the edge of that page. Uh, these are freebies in the Facebook group. So journaling, bigger size journaling cards with a bit of bling. And then this is the latest uh, that I did in the little pockets with all the layered bits to make the dangle tags. And so I love all the torn paper that you can do behind them, but I was getting a bit full, so I've kept it simple with just a bit of hessian, some silver ribbon, one of the little tags in it and the words and added a bit of bling and then used one of these bulb uh, pins, which is like a clothing pin. And that's st stuck with an eyelet on the corner of the page some more washi tape there. These are larger journaling cards again uh, in the January freebie. Added some bling to the pockets. Sweetest bird. And then in my, I did show you this before, but this is part of the templates that you can print out on any page. Uh, one of the template sets and it's a slotted pocket. And what I've included in there are some of the freebie uh, little journal cards that are in the January group. And then we did show you the execution of this belly band. So I've just glued the ribbon behind and then with belly bands, you glue on the top and the bottom. The simple ones on the other pages, obviously you glue on the sides. And so this opens up, this is such a great design by Carolyn. This is her January channel, uh, challenge, sorry. And there's lots of writing space in there. Um, she's the little pockets with more scripture. And so uh, I've just added, I, I printed some of the backing paper, front and back, and just did that as extra writing space to pop in under there. Uh, with Carolyn's, she did do um, a, a, a bit of scripture with a clip uh, on the side and that's what held hers closed. I just added some ribbon on mine, so different ways of doing it. This is uh, one of the templates and so added scripture on the top. I thought it would be lovely to have this in the background, but probably on the next one, the backing on this I would probably do on the bottom um, and then that would be more seamless as the hinge. More pockets, uh, that's a little booklet we made. And then this journaling card is one of the very first freebies in January over on Facebook. A bit of washi tape there. And we're coming to the end. So last little butterfly with some bling. And then I added some scripture on here and also some on there as well. So there we go, that's that one finished. Uh, now, 
I really encourage you to go, if you're not already, to go over to Facebook, join that group if you can, and then just access all the amazing, amazing freebies in the month of January. I've not actually ever seen another creator do that. So she is incredibly generous, and we really thank um, Carolyn so much for blessing this community. And just wanted to encourage you to look out for the end of this month. Just give me a couple of weeks to finish this one. This is going to be using the same kit, but having a different cover, different techniques. Some things I'll include, some things I won't. Um, and they'll be different and I'll try and do different ways of doing things in this journal as well. So look out for that one. It will be uh, more of a softer romantic vibe um, on the cover and some of the pages, but I think both are going to work out beautifully. And it just shows you with a digital kit that you can make it your own with your own embellishments and, and your own interpretation. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hopefully it was helpful and we look forward to catching you up on the next one. Have a very blessed day. Bye. Mm -hmm.